Uh, welcome to a, a little segment on garlic. Um, I'd like to uh, just demonstrate how I consume garlic in its most potent form, uh, in its raw state. So what we have here is, um, I just get, you get a bulb of garlic, just like this, and you take one of the cloves and you cut it in half and you basically chop it up into little pieces like that now what do you do after that well I'm about to show you um, let's see if I can position the camera here so we can uh, so we can take a look here there you go yeah there we go so watch me as I do this so I just got me some hummus here alright just some garlic hummus here. Actually, it's garlic and chive hummus. I got it from Whole Foods. They're a good brand. So that's one. Now, I can probably just go with this, but if you're beginning, you probably want to go with two tablespoons. And so what I do is I just mix it in there. It just kind of, it's very like, um, uh, it sticks. It's, it's, a, it's a, See, look at that. You can't even, I mean, it's just the garlic's in there already. So once it's in there, and then what I do next is actually I gotta run and get some lemon juice here. But um, anyhow, a little olive oil, a little drizzle. Okay. What that's gonna do is it's going to um, it's gonna soften the uh, the punch of the garlic. If you consume garlic raw, it's gonna burn your throat, and um, it's very um, uncomfortable. So not advised. Not advised. Coming back here, got me some lemon juice, okay. It doesn't really matter what order you add these ingredients, okay. If you're in a hurry or if you really don't care to get that in depth with this, see I just put a couple little, no that's nothing, I need to put a little more than that. Oh, that might be too much. That should be good. Yep, that's it. That's about three little drops there. And here we go. This is a preservative-free lemon juice. Okay, just pure lemon juice. Get it from Whole Foods. I keep it in the fridge. Um, so you can just have olive oil and a little lemon juice, and that should that should pretty much take care of the uh, the burning sensation of the garlic. Okay. So anyhow, let me just show you the additional. Uh, I guess the additional spices that I like to incorporate here. Um, one of them is uh, sumac. It's a really good spice. I love the way it tastes. Actually, it's common in Mediterranean restaurants. Wherever you live, you'll see this red little colored spice, and that's sumac. It's a great taste. It's a great Mediterranean uh, um, spice. And there's some turmeric. I like to do. I like to add this. I've got. I guess I acquired the taste for it, but I really like it. It's a potent anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory. So you don't have to, for me, I don't, I don't mind, I would say if you're, I don't mind like like overdoing it with the turmeric and the sumac, but if you're just beginning out, especially with the turmeric, you probably want to start easy, just, sprink, just sprinkle a little first and then, you know, and then once you develop that taste or acquire the taste and you just keep going, but it's a, it's worth, it's a worthy acquired, it's a worthy taste to acquire because that spice is just phenomenal at helping with recovery. And, um, and also immune function and, and inflammation in the body. It, it, it produces inflammation in the body. So let's go ahead and finish with our final touch here. The healthy fats, sesame seeds, and I love to add it because it adds a little crunch. It adds a crunch to my hummus. So there you go, there we have it. There's my hummus that has a full raw garlic clove in there. And I'm getting ready to eat it just about right now. So we'll take a peek at how I respond to this, but what I like to do is also I'll mix. I'll mix the uh, ingredients a little bit, just kind of make sure that olive oil and lemon juice kind of gets coated in there. That way, once again, it's going to kind of uh, neutralize that potent garlic effect. It's going to neutralize, but it's not going to um, degrade or, or, or inactivate any of the um, healthful compounds in garlic. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. It's a great Mediterranean dish, great Mediterranean taste. Anyhow, um, 
hopefully this video helps you as far as a way to consume raw garlic this is one of the ways that I do it I think it's a very good way to do it because it's a very healthy dish um, anyhow thanks for watching um, I just wanted to also talk about the, um, the, the breath odor issue with garlic um, something that I use is Listerine I simply just mouthwash after I consume garlic and never had any kind of mention or complaints of it you can use any kind of other mouthwash you prefer but uh, pick one that's going to really do the job and uh, really cleanse that um, that uh, that odor in the uh, mouth and, and whatnot. So, anyhow, once again, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this information helps.